can an amateur astrophotographer beat a professional observatory like the Hubble Space Telescope at anything? So over the last two weeks, I spent almost every clear night out in my backyard trying to take pictures of the Whirlpool Galaxy. And during that time, I managed to get almost 25 hours of usable data. I would start taking pictures as soon as it got dark and I would set an alarm for 3.30 a.m. every morning to wake up and check to make sure that my equipment was still working properly and that the clouds hadn't moved in or that it didn't start snowing because it is winter outside right now for me. When I looked at the final result, I had managed to capture more faint detail in the outer halo of the Whirlpool Galaxy than I could see in the Hubble Space Telescope image, but I'll let you be the judge of that. I also want to make an announcement that I'm starting a Shopify store for anybody who wants to purchase prints of my work or who wants to uh, purchase some wallpaper or a background for their phone or their computer and I'll be donating 100% of everything I make from that store. So to get more information about that, make sure to watch to the end of the video. Here's the telescope that I used to capture my image. It's a Celestron C11 Edge HD Schmidt Cassegrain telescope with a Hyperstar adapter and I was using an old ASI 1600 monochrome camera with some filters and it was all running on an EQ6R Pro mount and I was using a small 240 millimeter guide scope. Here is how my telescope compares to the Hubble Space Telescope. The primary mirror on my scope is about 11 inches across in diameter and the Hubble Space Telescope by comparison is 2.4 meters across so it has quite a bit more surface area. The focal length of my scope with the Hyperstar adapter is half a meter or 560 millimeters whereas the focal length of the Hubble Space Telescope is 57.6 meters. And my scope in total with the mount camera and filters and everything else cost about $3,500 whereas the Hubble Space Telescope cost about $8 billion as of the best estimate that I could find. Here is the final result that you've been waiting for. On the left is my image taken through my scope from my backyard and on the right is the image from the Hubble Space Telescope. Now as you can see here in the very outer halo of that smaller galaxy above the main galaxy in M51, you can see quite a bit of gas and dust that's being flung off the galaxy by the collision. Whereas in the Hubble Space Telescope, you can see a very, very faint hint of that, but you can see, you, you don't get the same signal to noise ratio that you do in my image over there. And pretty much all the small galaxies you see in the Hubble image, you can see a hint of them in my image as well. So my image seems to have a higher signal to noise ratio there. However, of course, because of the Hubble's immense focal length and the fact that it's above the Earth's atmosphere, it doesn't have to worry about, uh, you know, about bad seeing conditions and clouds passing in front of it or any of that, all the stuff that I have to worry about. So the Hubble's uh, telescope image is, of course, much, much sharper. So I'm going to zoom out uh, on my image here uh, and we can see the entire size of the image. We can see the entire field of view. Now you can see galaxies down to probably magnitude 21, 22 in my image. Uh, and you can see uh, galaxy clusters over 2 billion light years away. And the farthest quasar in here is about 11 billion light years away. So most of the way to the edge of the visible universe. In the Hubble image, of course, when we do the same uh, zoom out, uh, you can see immense detail in those galactic arms, way, way more than anything that uh, an amateur like me could ever hope to capture. So the Hubble image is much, much larger in terms of, uh, in, in terms of you know, the overall details that you can see. Um, and just, yeah, the immense focal length of the Hubble, it, it can't be matched by any amateur. So that's how they compare. Thanks for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're looking for a high resolution, high quality artwork for your home, or you just want a background for your monitor or for your phone, be sure to check out my Shopify store. So to go to the website, you just check out And this is what it looks like. And over here, you can buy prints. For example, if I click on this print of the Andromeda Galaxy, uh, you get a digital file that you can download. You can choose the ultra large size or the medium size and just click add to cart. And it gives you all the information about the object over here, as well as what you are getting. 
and uh, so you can download the digital file and take it to any place for printing and uh, this is just a sample but the actual digital file that you will be getting uh, will be absolutely massive so for example the print sample that you see over here is uh, it's a sample on it and this is about all you see uh, whereas if I open up the actual size file this is the actual file and I zoom in one to one you can see the amount of detail in this object which is way beyond what that sample shows so this will be the full size print and just to clarify uh, what you'll be receiving is a digital file that you can download along with a print release form and then you can print the print release form out and take it to uh, any print shop and then you can get it printed in whatever size you choose there and also uh, you can see that there are several different services that I offer. So if you are looking for astronomy consulting, for example, you click on the consulting option and it gives you all the different options that you can select from. So you can book uh, an in-person session or you can book, uh, you know, a remote session and all the prices are given there and you just hit add to cart and all the information about that is here and again uh, if you want to have your telescope collimated you need help with equipment setup you need uh, you know your images processed so all those options are available on my website now uh, i'm generally a very private person so i don't talk a lot about my own life but i have found that sometimes that can do some good now, I was born in one of the world's poorest regions in the mountains of northern Pakistan and uh, this is one of the only pictures from my childhood that exists and we lived in one of these mud huts like what you're seeing there and um, in our village we didn't have electricity, roads or hospitals or any other kind of services. So I have been very lucky in my life to have escaped that situation and now I'm very, very lucky to live in one of the greatest countries in the world. So I felt that it's my obligation in life to help out my village as much as possible since then. So that's why I'm starting a Shopify store and I do get a lot of requests from people who want to buy my prints. So now this is uh, your opportunity. So again, thank you very much for watching and for subscribing to this channel. Clear skies.